To create a table in your Bluehost database that we created in the last video, click Advanced, and then PHP My Admin. This is the database management tool that allows you to do all the editing, the adding, the deleting of tables. You can adjust data within the tables as well. But here we're just going to create a table. So you have a blank database. So we have to span the server, which is your domain name, the first eight letters of the domain name. And then we'll click your database that you created in the last video. This is a blank database, so there's nothing in there. So we have to create our first table. So we'll give it a name. I'll use sync underscore properties because I'll be wanting to sync the properties app, my Podio setup. And we're going to set it to 10 columns. I may need more, I may need less. I'm not sure. I just set 10. You can add some later. So there are two columns that we definitely need to add for all syncing with Globally Flow. There's the item ID column. So item underscore ID. And that will be a type of integer. And then we have to set the attribute to unsigned. If it's not unsigned, it won't work. And finally, actually we'll set the, uh, the next column will be a hash column. This is just to store a hash value, which is just a sequence of numbers and letters that tells the system if this record has been updated and when it was last updated. This has to be a var char, which is a string, and a length of 32, so it can hold 32 characters. Those are the only two required fields. After that, it's up to you which field you want to require, which field you want to back up. You can back up all the fields in your app. Or just some of them. In this case, I'm going to do a little bare minimum and just do like the street, city, state, zip, and bedrooms and bathrooms and a few notes. So we'll see a street, which would be the street address. We have varchar 100, so it can fit 100 characters. The next column will do the city, and that would be a varchar 100 also. And then state, I chose to do varchar 50 because I'm pretty confident that the state will never be long, more than 50 characters. Now, zip code, which is max 11, which is the five digit dash four digit combination. And one extra for good measure. Okay, so now I add bedrooms. And this will be a integer field because that matches up with the number field in Podio. And then bathroom is also an integer. You don't have to add a length because it defaults and it'll fit. Integer fields work up to a certain number, so I think it's probably seven digits. If you go past that and you want to use a big int. Now after this, we'll do an asking price. We'll set this up. You can use, use a decimal for the asking price or a double. Decimals if you know the uh, the number of integer or a number of decimal places, you can say 13 comma 2. If you're not sure you don't really care, you can just use a double and that is any amount of decimal places. And then last we'll do a selling reason and make that of our char and we'll put in 500 so it can hold 500 characters. You can make that larger if you want. I think a var chart can go up to 5,000 characters max. After that, you have to use a text field. So now I want to decide to add another column. So we'll go up to the top there, and say add one column, and it adds it to the bottom. We'll put notes, change that to var chart, and make that 1,000. Now that's my table. I want to set up a primary key which tells the table, the database, that this is going to be the unique field for each record. And we're going to use the item ID, which is the Podio unique field, unique value for all the items in the Podio workspace. Let's save. Now the table has been created. It's fairly straightforward once you do it once and you know where to do it and how to do it. You can quickly create a table, and now if you have any questions or comments, please leave 
comment below. Thank you.